Good evening, YouTube. So this is one of the products my company makes accessories for. So this is a Proforged idler arm. This is part of the steering linkage on an 86 through 95 Toyota pickup or forerunner, the four-wheel drive model. And this basically sits on the passenger side of the frame and hooks up to the steering linkage. There's this, and then on the, the driver's side, of course, is the steering box. And so this idler arm kind of uh, mimics the steering box, and this uh, pivots here. And there's the part number there, if you can see that, the 102. 10045. This idler arm is pretty nice. It features a 20 millimeter diameter shaft. Most of the other idler arms available, like the Toyota OEM version and almost all the other replacement arms, use either a 19 or a 19 and a half millimeter shaft. So the 20 millimeter shaft is much stronger. The only weak point on this idler arm is I'll show you inside here there's two plastic bushings that this arm pivots on when they're new it's nice and tight as you can see and over time that plastic wears out and gets sloppy so what we do is we've designed bronze bushings to go in both ends of the idler arm here and that gives you uh, basically a metal on metal connection and these bronze bushings are called self lubricating the the bronze is actually kind of porous and it'll soak up the oil out of the grease that's inside of the idler arm and then over time it'll let that oil seep back out a couple of things we have to do to do that got to get this cap off. So I have this custom tool. It's a 38 millimeter three quarter inch drive socket and it's just about the right size and I, I fit some heat shrink in here to uh, just fit over this uh, cap here. Let me show you how I do that here. Yeah, I just got it seated down there and now you just pop that cap off. And the nice thing with the heat shrink is it keeps the uh, paint from getting scratched. And then you need the big wrench 24 inch crescent wrench let's get on here whoa you can see those are on pretty darn tight that's why you need a big wrench to break those loose i'll show you what the bushings look like here so there's the arm and this arm, again, is 20 millimeter diameter, and you can see it's nicely, nicely machined. And let's see, oh, there's my one. Let's get one of these on. You can see these are a really snug fit. And you can see how it's just scraping the grease off of there. So these bushings are, you know, a high precision fit for this shaft. And let me show you the plastic ones here. Yeah, so here's one of the plastic bushings, and here's one of our bronze bushings. So you can see the the plastic is plastic is plastic, and we make a uh, all metal bushing. You can see it's also a taller bushing, so the the bushing provides a lot more support on the shaft. And then being that it's metal, it doesn't give like the plastic. You can see the plastic actually has slots in it. And then that should just fit right in there. Nice snug fit. And then we take the other one out. Yeah, so this is how we make the uh, bushings for our idler arm upgrade. So I have a, our regular bushing we get and we've got to take off about nine thousandths of an inch to uh, size them up for a different part so i'll show you that here we take a second spring pass over the bushing just to get it to the final size There we go, that should be the final size. We're looking for 0.944 and that 
That looks like it. It's supposed to be a snug fit, and then turn those on this little spindle here. There we go, a finished bushing. So it's a 20 millimeters inside diameter, and then 0.944 inches outside. So we turn that down a little bit, and there we go. We got bushings, bronze bushings in both sides. You got to try to shove this guy all the way through. We're ready to go. We just put the washer and the nuts on the end, and put the cap back on, and this one's ready to go out to a customer. Okay, there we go. Got the arm all put back together. Got the bronze bushings in there. We just usually put the cap on lightly there because the customer still has to torque this down once they get it installed on their truck. They got to pop the cap off and it's a little easier to uh, after you cycle this a few times on the vehicle run the steering lock to lock a few times get everything seated in there. We offer the arm all ready to go with the bushings installed. You can also buy the arm from us or any auto parts store and then buy the bushing separately if you want to install it yourself or if you already have an idler arm on your truck. Uh, these are a little bit hard to find. Yeah, get some light on here. So here's the uh, face of the arm. It's L which I think stands for left hand drive. So this is built to run on the passenger side or the right side of the vehicle but since it's left hand drive I guess they put an L there and uh, just to show you one of the benefits this is the original plastic bushing that's in the idler arm that we replace and what I can do is I'll just tap it in a ways there and here's the the actual idler arm with the uh, round shaft on it and I'll just use one bushing here to highlight the the uh, benefit of our bronze bushing so here's the idler arm into one bushing and you can see how loose it is I can just wiggle that around it's of course it's tighter when you plug in both bushings and engage that but let me show you what our bushing does the uh, Plastic bushings are very tight on the inside. They kind of squeeze into the cast housing, but they're very loose on the, the shaft. Of, so I'll pop one of our bronze bushings in there. And you can see here, there's almost no play. There's just a very little bit of play with one. And if I stick the other bushing in, there's nothing. You can't feel any movement at all. I'm, moving the table. <laughs> That's what we have. If you have a Toyota 86 through 95 in the U.S. and also the Hilux and Hilux Surf, early 2000s I think also use this idler arm. The later models use rack and pinion steering so they don't need this, but if you have the older Toyotas with the recirculating ball steering box, these are the idler arm bushings you need to make your idler arm as strong as possible. So that's our Pro Forged idler arm with bronze bushings inside. So if you're looking for one of those, I'll put a link into our webpage in the video description. And if you have any questions, put that in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.